All right, it took me a minute to even want to make this video. I ain't even want to make this video, but we're here now. I got like, I got three or four reasons why this game is not worth playing or investing anything into on either side, on the my park side or on the my team side. I got like, I got three or four good reasons why it's not worth it. And I got one reason that you might find, I mean, you might disagree. You just might disagree. You just might find it frivolous. But there's a lot of things that I'm going to point out between this video that that make a lot of sense on why it's not worth investing into, why I will not buy packs in this game and why I don't think this game is worth putting too much into at this point in this current state. This could change. Things could change. First thing I want to point out, we're on current gen. We're on, on next gen. This is XS. This is this is the game for XS. If you look at these at these posters these posters look like like the quality is just not it's just not there that one looks okay for derrick rose but these faces look like this looks like 160p this looks like 240p this does not look like crisp 1080p 7 it doesn't even look 720p it doesn't i mean this just looks this dumptober looks crazy it looks egregious so that makes me feel like this game was not processed for next gen, honestly, honestly, because if we do this, just like this, we hop over here on old gen, Xbox One, I'm on Xbox One version. This looks way more viable on Xbox One. These pictures look way more crisp. They look at least 720p. I believe that it's supposed to be a little grainy in these player pictures but the whole poster in general looks way more crisp on old gen. These player cards look way more crisp. This Abu Dhabi sign looks way more crisp. This looks like it was optimized for this version of the game on old gen. That is my first reason. That brings me to my first reason why this game is just not habitable for you to put a bunch of money into at this time in its current state. I don't think that the game was optimized for next gen. And that is why I will not put a lot of in, I will not invest a whole lot into this game. I just won't because I do not think it was actually optimized for next gen. I think it was a lot loaded into the game. And then with it not being optimized for next gen, in my opinion, just from my observation, I could be wrong. I mean, you, your observation could be different. But I do not think it's optimized for next gen and I do not think it will receive the proper support on old gen for it to be viable to invest a ton of money into at this current state. Things could change. Things could get better. I will play the game, but I'm just not I'm not about to invest a whole lot into builds on my team side or invest a whole lot into packs over here on the my team side. So my park, I'm not investing in builds like that. And then we come over here to my team. I'm not, I'm not investing in packs. The most you'll see from me is these challenges. I like playing these challenges. I do. I just do. Just uh, I wanted to put out a video for this. I just took too long to get it out. I might throw that up. I might not. But the 92 overall hidden gems pack. I got, I got a pretty good card from this 92 overall hidden gems pack. If we come over to my lineup, I messed around and got Marcus Camby. Marcus the Camby. Marcus Camby's not bad. With the shoe on him, he shoots really good. He has a 82 three-pointer. I mean, the block is high. The interior defense is high. The rebounding is pretty high. For a 94 overall card, hidden gem, I feel like I won. Um, I need a point guard now. I need a point guard now. But that's, that's neither here nor there. That is actually less than... This team is less than, than viable right now. And it's because I do not intend on spending a whole lot on this game i mean i just at this current state in the game there is a lot going on and that brings me to my second reason why it's not really worth investing a whole lot into they gave us too much too quick it seems like a suspicious money grab we already have cards that we i don't think we should have I don't think we should have these cards already in this game. If we come over here to the collection, season one, we just, I mean, let's, no matter of fact, let's go to gems of the game. Gems of the game is crazy work. 
if we look up okay 91s these these amethyst okay cool amethyst gems of the game cool but there are cards in here that are just like you can get your hands on this michael jordan now if you're lucky enough to pull this out of hidden gems and you'll have this card in your i mean and this is a dark matter card in season one there's no way they're incentivizing spending a whole if you spend enough if you spend enough right now you can have these cards you can have these galaxy opal cards there are people running around with galaxy opal cards already flash edition he won a galaxy opal tony parker i think from one of his uh packs from playing king of the court and i mean it's just not it's not worth it because it seems like a suspicious money grab if you go over to the mike's career side of things man i'm i'm amazed the game looks so much better over there on look at this look at this versus that this just looks grainy and crazy anyway if you go over to the my career side of things you can have a 99 overall player day one it just depends on how how quick you can grind there were people with 99 overall players week one week one of this game's lifespan there were 99 overall players i don't have that yet because i'm splitting my time between two game modes but i did i did create a four or five players already that i've been grinding slowly to to a t at my own pace but the thing is with rebirth you can with rebirth you can go to 99 overall off top if you reach 99 overall with any player that you created your rebirth player look it says it right here it says it right here your rebirth player can be 99 overall just because you already have a 99 overall player so that just it just incentivizes spending way too much money on the game day one it feels like a crazy crap a crazy cash grab and that brings me to my reason three why it's not worth it even though they have this crazy crash can i talk this crazy cash grab going on where you can spend a whole lot of money to be 99 overall week one the leaderboards are not safe it ain't safe it ain't safe it ain't safe you've heard about if unless you're living under a rock you've heard about the proven grounds you know that this is ranked mode this is a ranked game mode in the game where you can climb the ladder and be top tier at the game you can make it to top rank be top 10 in the top rank you can go through the ladder bronze through diamond but there are players that have figured out how to cheat the game how to cheat the leaderboards there's a way to cheat these leaderboards where you you may lose your win percentage if you lose the game but if you cheat the system right you will not lose rank in your proven grounds on your proven grounds tier list so you can stay diamond you can work your way up the ranks unless 2k plans on stopping this and nipping this in the bud i mean it's just it's just gonna be a bigger problem than, than you could think and even on the my team side of things the leaderboards from my team i mean it's full of it was full of boosters at one point i don't know what's going on with it now to this point but when i last checked i did a video on it and it was like crazy names up there boosting so i mean i just feel like it's just too much cheating going on on the leaderboards for me to invest anything into that type of situation into like putting my time into really being serious about grinding this game now i'm gonna hop on here and play this for fun if anything with my 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 uh, organization or i mean i don't know i just come in here and you know solo solo just go crazy solo i don't know everything just seems it just seems too too wonky for me I mean, if they, even if we go to the top 10 over here on this my career side of things as far as the um as far as the city goes we're not even talking proven grounds let's talk let's talk the legend grind let's talk the legend grind okay i've got up to starter one i mean i'm just not i'm just not into it like that into grinding this game like that i do want to make the legend i might make a push we have a lot of time i don't see myself in top 10 but at the same time there were some wonky names up here this this got hacked at one point there were names up here that were not supposed to be here 
I don't know if I mean if you live under a rug then you might not have noticed but if you play this game enough and you're in the know you saw it happen it was a thing a couple weeks ago where they had Ronnie 2k's name up here I don't know if it was just people changing their gamer tags I don't know if it was people hacking the list but it just was way too wonky to even know and there's also a situation number four number four on my list the Zen Cronus shot stick situation I mean it's just all too much that brings it to all too much for me to want to invest a whole lot of time or a whole lot of money into this video game there's a lot going on where it's just not it's just not it for me it's not how i feel it's just not how i feel about spending my time or money it's just not where i want to do it that's not where i want to put my money me personally i'm just casual I'm just having fun being casual at this. Honestly, I didn't even check in for this event. This event, did I didn't even jump in here. They got an event going on strikeout right now. I went and jumped in there once. I wanted to make a video out of it, but I wasn't, I just went in there solo just to see what the, the vibes were. But you know what the vibes are solo. That's another reason why I wouldn't invest too much into the game, but it's a minor reason. We'll put that on the back note. There are, I mean, just randomly, the randoms that you jump in here with are not worth jumping in here with. Either way, if you play solo, if you don't have people to play with, it's just not fun. It's just not a whole lot of fun. But either way, that let me let me jump on let me jump on the train, the the love train. You know what I mean, brother love out here, and speak good on the game. I've given you four four or five reasons why I wouldn't play the game. Well, I wouldn't put too much into the game, put too much money into the game, invest too much. Here's my one reason. This is one reason that you just may not agree with, or you may find egregious. There's one reason why I love this game. And it's gonna, I mean, this is gonna sound crazy. It's gonna sound way crazy. It's gonna sound way crazy. It's gonna sound Gluck Gluck 3000. I just love the game. Bigger than that, it's the only basketball game on the market. You, I mean, come on. And at that, that's the only that's the only thing that I can say positive towards spending money on the game. But I would still take that with a grain of salt. I would say still don't spend a whole bunch of money on this game at this point, unless you just have it like that. That's the one thing, unless you haven't just having things. Look at this NPC, NCP, whatever you, whatever. It, because she got my jersey on. Get out of here. Anyway, that's swaggy. Either way, unless you just balling like that, go ahead, do you. You know what I mean? If you balling. But if you're not having like that and you have to pick and choose when you spend and what you spend and how you spend, I mean, $10 here or there, cool. Yeah, I, I will. I'm depending on, I mean, just for my, my team journey, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get the season passes. And I'm mad at that, that they figured out a way to get me to pay them $20 every month. I mean, I'm really, that's really crazy. Craig's in trouble. Come quick. Craig is in trouble. I need y'all to come quick. Pause. That didn't, that didn't come out right. Pause. That's not, this, oh my God. I might just end the video here. Anyway, I'm saying like, if you haven't, go ahead and spend. If you're not having like that, understand that this game is not really for people that are not having like that. They dumb the game down to a point where it's not that dumb anymore. <laughs> it's not just pick up and play. It's like it's a process. Over the years, it become it's become a process. Unless you're just gonna play play now in the house with the homies. I mean, it's just not it's not it. It's not worth just dumping a whole lot of money into. It's become a money pit for some people. I mean, it's a it's it's really a niche game where it has to be your hobby. And if it's been your hobby for at least five six years then you understand the game, you understand how to play it, you understand the ins and the outs. But if you're picking this up for the first time and you think you're just gonna pick up, plug and play and have fun, it's a lot of research that goes into this my career, my team side of things. And that's why I even have my channel because I'm, I'm just that guy that wants to tell people that are new to the game and wanna pick up the game and learn to play. There's a lot invested into this and there's a lot that goes with this game. So that's, that's my little list of why not, why so, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, I'm bad at endings, but you get it. 
like the video subscribe share it to somebody that needs to hear something about it whatever do you you know what i mean you're on the clock you know what i'm saying either way we're gonna get right and if we don't get right we'll just be wrong so it is what it is Seen what makes you cheer.